Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, EA are going to be releasing another uh, patch for their game, so we're going to see what's up with it. Uh, guys, description, uh, FIFA Ultimate Team added a view help button, okay? Added a profile tab to the player details view for some types of player items, cool. Uh, the radar could sometimes disappear during the matches. That happened to some people. Honestly, it, it happened to me a few times too, actually. That was like more in the beginning though, like not necessarily afterwards. Uh, from what I see, FIFA Ultimate Team, there's a bunch of gameplay stuff, but do you guys... Hey, I don't see any improvements to the transfer market thing resetting, so... <laughs> uh, there's so much menu stuff that's broken. It's literally so broken, but... You know? Uh, gameplay. Made the following changes. All right, let's see what they did, because ugh, this game is... Um interesting you know it's been a while since i did a gameplay patch it's needed you know let's see we'll see what's up when playing against a team using constant pressure your ai teammates will attempt to more actively provide shorter passing options oh finally only it only took you two years or three years of the next gen version of fifa for you guys to figure out that your ai is actually broken when people activate pressure tactics what's interesting is that this is for only constant pressure so i want to see if you applied that to the other pressure tactics because all of them do it okay that's interesting now so attempt more actively provide shorter passing options that's good because it's all long distance i'm telling you guys like these guys or super far from you, you would make a pass, and then obviously the defender is going to have the advantage because the longer your pass, the easier it is for the defensive AI to get the ball. So the shorter thing is important. But the pressure applied to the player is going to be interesting to see, okay? Uh, when a CPU controlled def uh, defending player applies constant pressure to the ball carrier, but does not win the ball back, that can take longer to track back. I like that, actually. I like that. They take longer to actually track back after the initial pressure. Good. This has no impact on human-controlled players. Decreased stamina decay by 11.7% for constant pressure press after possession loss. Oh, you guys are doing it to all of them. Okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. Interesting. So more stamina decay. Stamina is not the main thing that makes the pressure tactics really dumb. So we're going to see what's up with it uh, after the patch. What, today, what day is today? Today's Tuesday? Wednesday. Today's Wednesday. So it's probably going to be applied after the... Or maybe, maybe during foot champs. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Um, in some cases, ball carriers are now more likely to maintain possession of the ball when pressured from behind by a defender. In some cases, ball carriers are more likely to maintain possession of the ball when pressured from behind by a defender. Huh. Okay. So that that all of that's good. Shorter passing and the way that your player receives the ball with pressure behind because it's because listen when you have the pressure tactics right one the attacking ai being broken we'll see if that's going to be adjusted once this is out uh because of the shorter passes but the other thing is the fact that like the defensive pressure from behind just for you to receive the ball forward was insane like again a bunch of defensive ai stuff instead of like actually human controlled things uh, address the following issues when chasing lofted through passes defenders could incorrectly slow down at times yes that happens all the time actually it's really annoying so that's interesting. Uh, ad uh, address further instances of the ball unintentionally failing or falling back to the attacking player after defender makes a tackle. Unintentionally falling back. Unintentionally. I don't know what that means in their eyes, but I guess that's improved defensive tackling with manual. Uh, during kickoffs, teams with a high defensive line could push up too closely to the center of the pitch. Well, yeah, we do that to avoid your kickoff glitch, which you guys have yet to adjust at any point. Um, or you have, but you just don't know how to fix it. Um, in some cases, using player lock when playing with customized controls could result in unwanted requests. I'm not familiar with that. I don't really use customized controls, but for the people that do, I guess. Uh, when locking to a player without the ball, the CPU ball carrier could perform unwanted skill moves or passes. Yep. Uh, addressed instances of some animations not playing correctly when there is physical contact between two players. Uh, in some cases, a quick free kick could not be taken in transition to a tradi traditional free kick. Sometimes a semi-assisted through pass could incorrectly be hit out of play. See, I wonder if that specific pass is the one that they're adjusting around the 18-yard box. Because around the 18-yard box, they overhit it quite a bit. So that one's interesting. Uh, removed heading animations that could unnecessarily occur when a player was requested to perform a header but was not in contention for the ball. 
um remove oh thank you oh my goodness when they just go for a header and they head the air randomly oh my i think it's that one heading animations that could unnecessarily occur when a player was requested to perform a header but it was not in contention for the ball it might be that one it might be that one because those ones are so bad bro you try to clear the ball with a header and he's like nowhere near oh now he's doing the animation so he's out of position Good stuff, you know? <laughs> All right, so that's good. Uh, in some specific situations, the CPU AI could not win the ball back if the human-controlled player was shielding the ball. The CPU AI could not win the ball back if the human-controlled player was shielding the ball. Is that them adjusting their, um, their squad battles glitch? EA, just add a system in your game because the fact that you make people play squad battles is torture in itself. Just add a system where the CPU doesn't touch us if we just stop there for the minimum difficulty. <laughs> you know, like it's just, I'm sorry, squad. I have lost like four or five games in squad battles from falling asleep trying to finish Nuno Santos and he was so generic. I always tell a story because it's so funny. Um, Interesting. Uh, further address into the ball carriers running over the ball when making a dribble. That happens all the time. In some cases, CPU AI goalkeepers can perform an unintentionally poor pass from a goal kick. Uh, okay. Uh, in rare situations, after receiving a pass, the ball carrier could have become momentarily unresponsive. Happens all the time. Uh, improved referee logic when making foul decisions in situations where offending player uh, quickly moved away from the ball carrier. Yeah, your referees are still really bad. Uh, improved referee logic when making a foul decision regarding slide tackles. Coolio, coolio. World Cup. Sometimes in the field. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't care about this because this should have been the, in the ultimate team, let's be honest. I was so excited this year. I was like, yes, we're going to have the World Cup mode. No, no chance. Um, general audio visual. Update some ball UI elements, custom manager, blah, blah, blah. Don't care. You guys have to fix your settings. I, I don't see any setting change here. Adjust the following issues. PC only. Don't care. Uh, Xbox Series S only, don't care. In some cases in kickoff, custom controller settings could reset to default. In some cases in kickoff, custom controller settings can be reset to default. Is that you guys fixing the thing? Because I don't know if that's it. No issue under investigation on a tracker. If playtime match limits are set and reached, the message delivery is going to be closed. Work around, close, and restart FIFA 23. Okay. Cool. Um, so the key things here is a potential buff to attacking AI, pressure tactic nerf, buff to attacking AI just because they actually offer you more options, and there's a better touch if you're facing the direction with a dude behind you, right? Uh, so those are two, um, and potential manual defending buff as well. Because of this one, right? Addressed further instances of the ball unintentionally falling back to the attacking player after defender makes a tackle. So, you know? Yeah, that's definitely very interesting. So those are like the main ones, I would say. Yeah, those are the main ones. Um, so a big thing here that I don't see you guys doing any changes for is I don't see a thing for your transfer market resetting when you search for a player and then you go back and then it resets the whole thing. Um, I don't see a thing here for your controller settings, unless it's this setting thing that you mentioned over here at the bottom. In some cases, kickoff custom controller settings could reset to default. It wasn't even necessarily resetting to default. Like it sometimes only resets like three or four of the options. And then it's, you know, and guys, please listen. I know that in the video, when I showed you guys my controller settings, I told you to save the profile. If I have another person telling me to load the FIFA profile one more time, when that does not fix the issue, we're gonna throw hands, okay? We're gonna throw hands. Because in the video, when it was new, I was like, yeah, this is what fixes the issue. And then like, you just did it every day and it didn't fix the issue. Maybe for some people it probably works, but it doesn't work, trust me. You save the profile as many times as you want. Once you change those settings, it doesn't really change much. But um, yeah, these are welcome inclusions, honestly. Because you know what it is? Like playing this game normally, the biggest stressful thing is how effective the ai is okay so for me I, i've i've explained this so many times in my stream i haven't played regular fifa that much this year like other than the fact of me doing my content and then calling it a day like that's not the same as me experiencing the game normally like playing regular fifa like when i do player review stuff like i'm forcing a lot of things to try out certain things with the individual players to see how i would line them up and all that kind of stuff right 
but regular FIFA, I only did recently when I packed Ricardo Carvalho and I got like 10 games out of it, but I was completely turned off from playing more because of this whole CPU defensive thing and this whole park the bus meta in this game. And obviously them recently bringing back pace and people playing that linear three play style meta, like it's just, you're facing, you're facing robots, right? It's the reason why I get so like, drained mentally from playing the game is because i don't feel like i'm playing an actual person i just feel like i'm playing a robot every time right like it feels like i'm playing squad battles without playing squad battles at like the ultimate difficulty you know what the ultimate difficulty on squad battles probably plays better football than what you face in the online experience the online experience is more robotic than than or robotic than um robotic robotic than the uh than squad battles if anything honestly because when you, you know why I know this is because you guys ever play foot champs this year and you're facing a PC cheater. So what he does, is he plays against you, but then he uses the, the hardest difficulty against you. Right. And then these guys are just moving different. Like there's obviously if it's the AI, they're not compensating their own commands with the, for what the game's doing. So they're, they understand every single mechanic and what they're doing. Right. So it's kind of like that. Like when I play against the AI, I feel like I'm playing against like a top tier class like FIFA player, you know what I'm saying? Like the, with the way that their play style is like popping off with the passing plays and the shots that they take and everything. But you'll never see a like a top tier FIFA player actually playing that way. You know, does that make sense? So yeah, it's it's really interesting. Like for me, it's like the AI is the online and then the 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 AI or the AI is the online, right? And then the online is the a AI, you know what I'm saying? So it's interesting. But yeah, this is the, uh, this. these are a bunch of welcome inclusions. To be fair, again, like I said, the CPU AI thing with defense, I've always tried to explain to people that this year, it, it really irritates the soul out of me when I see someone saying that defending, oh my God, this guy is like such a good defender. Oh my goodness, please. I don't want to hear this ever again. This guy is such a good defender when defensive AI is doing everything. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah, right. So irritating. If you manually defend in this game, it's, it's worse than like defensive AI doing stuff for you. It happens all the time. So some interesting stuff for sure. But uh, yeah, that's the review for the gameplay patch. Again, there is a buff to uh, attacking AI. There is a nerf to pressure tactics and potential tackling buff as well. Those are the three main points um, from this patch. So I, I get happy that they don't change their shooting mechanics because honestly, the only shooting mechanic that needs to be changed is the chip shots because chip shots sometimes the goalies don't animate against it sometimes the chip shot itself is super inconsistent right but all the other shooting ones that they have are fine like they even got to a point where time finishing is time finishing is more acceptable for me like i used to hate time finishing with a passion but they put it they got it to a point where it's actually acceptable to have in the game which i like i'm a, i'm i'm very impressed with you know what i'm saying i hate manual goalkeeper manual goalkeeper can suck one right but the shooting, the shooting mechanics are significantly better than what we used to have back in the day. Like the power shots are nice, finesse shots are nice. They're only more consistent if you hit greens. That's just how it works, you know? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll see you guys later. Guys, listen, there's a game that I want to watch today. I don't know if I'll be able to watch it. There's a, it's a local team of mine from Portugal called Hupt Pesh. Uh, if they play today at 1230, I'm probably going to watch that game first. Maybe if I can actually watch it because it's a Portuguese uh, stream, right? Um, and if I can't, then obviously I'll do the one o'clock content soon, uh, quicker. But just letting you guys know in advance, okay? Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys. You guys have yourself a good one.